Yeah, video! Hey, my name is Amy Register. I work for the Central California Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, and I work here out of the Arroyo Grande Seventh-day Adventist Church. The CCC has given me a very prestigious ID badge, letting people know that I'm a missionary. I'm not sure why that's helpful. Someday I plan to roll up on a crime scene, flash this bad boy and see where it gets me. Excuse me, officer. What seems to be the problem? Oh yeah, I am a missionary. I can totally handle that. Dead body, you say? Oh no. <laughs> My job title is that of cross trainer, which means that I train people in the ways of the cross. I'm an evangelist and I help the local church members start to feel comfortable walking alongside people who believe differently, training them to go out and make friends and contacts in the community and invite them back. So my job is basically to duplicate myself. I've done lots of other jobs in my life and this is by far the best and the worst job I've ever had. For example, today I was on cloud nine because we pulled off guest services pretty well. We had a brand new first time local visitor come because he said he had been reading his Bible on his own and he became convicted that God wanted him to observe the seventh day Sabbath and keep it holy. He ran into a church member recently baptized who told him that he went to church at a Seventh-day Sabbath-keeping church and invited him along. The guy came, he's 21, 22. The greeters got him a gift, let me know that he was there. We got him to potluck surrounded by loving people, good conversation, good food. He left feeling encouraged. And so when something like that happens, when the members are following the plan, when they're keyed in, when they're kingdom-minded, uh, it feels awesome, and I can't believe I get to be a part of that. On other days, though, it feels like I cannot connect anyone with a new Bible study contact, or no one cares, or no one shows up, or people just have so much going on in their life that they're not able to think about eternal things. And that's when it gets really frustrating, and that's when I cry out to God, and I don't even know what I'm doing here, or if he wants me here anymore, or if I'm even effective in ministry, and it sucks. I mean, it's not like I'm a vacuum salesman. It's not like I'm peddling things that I don't care about, and I go home at night, and if I sold three or five or 10 vacuums that day, I'm happy. When I look at a group of people, I sometimes am overwhelmed just wondering, how many of these people are gonna be in heaven? How many of these people are gonna get to taste the sweet, life here on this earth and for eternity that I've been able to experience and I desperately want that for them. And I can't do it and you can't do it. We need the church to rise up and everybody be working in their neighborhoods and in their own families and in their jobs. That's the only way this is gonna happen. And when it's not happening, I just start to question, what am I doing here? <laughs> I picked the name belligerent Bible worker because most of the Bible workers I have met, especially the females, <laughs> have been wonderful people, but very little house on the prairie. Got the hair parted down the middle, got the long, flowing, modest dress, which always looks great, by the way. Um, I like and appreciate all of these people, but just not me. Way more often, I am what Dillis Brooks referred to in the last one project as a daughter of thunder. I am a strong-willed, makeup-wearing, disciple of the living God. This is not something I'm proud of, but I occasionally think cuss words. I know I don't fit the mold. I know I annoy Pierre Steenberg. But you know what? As the country song says, it takes all kinds of kinds. I love the word belligerent. As an adjective, it means hostile and aggressive, which I suppose I can be. As a noun, a belligerent is a person or a nation engaged in war or conflict on an international level. And that, my friends, is me. I want to be a belligerent. I want to be a belligerent for the cause of Christ and against the cause of the enemy. So what's this channel? What can you expect from a belligerent Bible worker? Well, first off, let's be honest. You can expect mediocre hair, makeup, cinematography, and lighting. 
And yes, I do own a hairbrush, I just don't know where it is right now. Here's what I'm hoping to share on this channel. Number one, my philosophies about evangelism and Bible work. Number two, practical tips for spiritual discussions and getting into Bible studies. And number three, as far as possible, I would like to share real life stories of my successes and disappointments, of loneliness being here, and of the joys of being here working with this church. I would love for you to join me as I try to show folks what real life Bible work is like without losing my job. Join me next time for a look at the 3.5 worst excuses I've heard from church members to not do evangelism.